811 now. In general, the risk of coronavirus is higher for those 65 and older, but no one is immune to the virus. That includes younger people. We've had multiple cases in Northeast Florida of younger adults and even children who have been infected. Joining me now is Dr. Raheja. Thank you so much for talking with us this morning. This is so critical to talk about with younger generations. Just moments ago, we were talking about how it's very difficult to get children uh, and those even two years old or younger to wear masks. Toddlers do not have to wear them. Is that correct? That is correct. And, and mostly they should be staying at home as much as possible. Right now, what the CDC is recommending is that people should wear masks when they go to places they cannot avoid social distancing, like the grocery store or the pharmacy. And so and, and it could be a homemade mask as well or any kind of mask. Um, the important thing is what people don't know is how to put the mask on properly and what the steps are. Uh, and I thought it would be helpful for people to understand the most important thing you have to do is wash your hands really well before you put on your mask and put it on before you're going to a place that you need it. Because if you get there and you've already touched everything and then you start putting on the mask, you're exposing yourself to the germs. Those are some really great tips. Let me ask you this too. When we're talking about the younger generation specifically, any tips on how to encourage them to wear those masks? And what age group are you thinking about? Uh, children, teenagers. I think it's important. I think one of the things to encourage them is to explain to them the difficult thing about the coronavirus is that there's been this misconception that younger people don't get sick. I think one of the ways to encourage them is to realize that they may not get necessarily be the ones who get the sickest, but they're going to be in touch with older people who will get sick. So I think it's, it's about getting people to realize how important it is, especially that younger generation, to protect everybody else in the community. You know, and so you're, I think that is one way to explain and, and talk to them about this. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you were talking about uh, putting the, the proper way to put masks on. I know a lot of people that I've been talking with, those who are complaining of wearing a mask, they say it actually hurts the way it sits on their head. So I've seen people snip the back of those bands and then tie them around the ears. Is that way just as effective? I, it does as long as you're covering your mouth and your face properly that is really what the most effective part is now i saw in some of those pictures people are not covering their nose so i do have a mask over here and so the the best way to put it on is really you want to make sure you don't touch the mask again you pinch it of course i've washed my hands carefully right and then when you're taking it off again the most important part is all the germs are going to be in the area where you're breathing so you never want to touch the mask over there you want to basically pull it off put it to the side and either a disposable mask or if you have a cloth mask, then you can wash it in hot water and then very high heat on the dryer. Moving from masks to gloves, we see a lot of people wearing gloves, especially at the grocery store. Should yeah, people- my props for this too. <laughs> As you're typing, right? As you're typing. Um, let's talk about gloves. What is the proper way to put them on and off? And when should we be wearing these gloves? Okay, so again, putting it on, the most important thing is to wash your hands before you put on your gloves. Again, the whole point is to get keep the germs off. And people have heard wash your hands, wash your hands, they're so sick of it. But just to remind everybody, 20 seconds of really scrubbing your hands together. Now, in terms of gloves at the grocery store, the coronavirus actually sticks pretty well to plastic. So if you wear the gloves and then you go around the store, you may be cross-contaminating other items. Whereas if you just use your hands and you can either hand sanitize in between or wash your hands, you know, as soon as you get home. So recommend, it's not recommended to wear gloves in the grocery store. If you do wear gloves, the most important thing again is you want to make sure you don't touch anything when you have it. So you're going to pinch over here at the top, pull it down into the other glove, and then you go underneath without touching the surface. And now you've got the gloves all closed up. And these are the parts that and you throw them away. Oh, I love so the demonstration. So it's very important not to touch the outside of the glove with your hands. And then, of course, you're still going to wash your hands or hand sanitize afterwards. Of course. And then be cognizant, too, when you are wearing those gloves on what you're touching. So if you're touching your phone or if you're touching your wallet, don't do it. Just don't do it. Those things can right. wait. Yeah. Dr. Rahaja, thank you so much for joining us this morning. This morning, you've had some really great tips. Very insightful. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Good luck, everyone.